Hey, this is Marjorie Wildcraft, and I've got a real quick video for you on what you want to do just as soon as your package with the alternatives to dentist order arrives. I'm going to show you what you need to do right away, and then also I've got a little story for you about this whole kit and some of the behind the scenes on it. It was a nightmare for the Grow Network. But first, let's open this thing up and let me show you what's inside. All right, so here's the package, and um, let me show you what you got inside here. You've got a, a, a bag, a burlap sack bag, with these are going to be some plant starts. Look at right here. This is Equisetum hymale. That's the Latin name. The common name is um, horsetail. And this is the main herb that Doug uses in the video, Alternatives to Dentists. So they've wrapped it up really well here. Now I want you to look at this, and even though it looks pretty dry and it looks pretty dead, I've got to assure you that this is a really tough plant. But it's absolutely urgent that you get this into some water and get this planted right away. So I've just got a little container of water here and I'm going to put these plugs into this water to let this rehydrate and let these roots rehydrate. All right, I know these plants look bad, but I promise you let them rehydrate, we'll get them planted and they will do great for you. If you can't plant them right away, here's what I recommend you do. Take a couple of paper towels, take your plants, wrap them in those paper towels, get that paper towel wet. Now, personally I hate cling wrap. I mean really, I wouldn't have this in the kitchen, but the family has it, but it apparently does have its uses. So what you do is, is get that nice and moist, maybe wrap this in some cling wrap or a shopping bag or something just to keep it nice and moist. And then you can put this in the refrigerator and the nursery we got this from says you can do this and keep it in a refrigerator for several weeks just making sure that every two or three days you're you're moistening that and and keeping these roots nice and moist i'm not going to keep this in the refrigerator i'm going to go ahead and plant this actually i'm going to show you right here this is my favorite planter and i'm going to go ahead and plant these guys and, and let's get these guys started okay so you can plant this in any container but as with any container planting system you know, the bigger the container, the more soil it's going to have and the more it's going to retain water and the less attention from you it's going to need. So in general, you know, it's always good to have as big a container as you can. Here are our starts and like most things, you just kind of want to gently think them apart. That's kind of a way to talk about it. Um, this one looks like we could keep two together. Uh, you know, that one will probably keep two together. This looks, you know, I don't know if we could break, pull this apart here or not. I'm going to go ahead and pull it apart. But they're really good little plugs. I'm managing to get four out of this. So I'm just going to, you're going to plant that down in there, get it, you know, right at about the soil level where the, where the plug normally you can see where right here where you know it was dug at I'll just put it right back at, at that level and I'm gonna get these in here and get these guys going There we go. Now the most important thing whenever you plant anything, of course, is water it in well, right? And, um, you know, these are water plants. I've always seen these growing in the wild near streams. They sell them as landscape plants for ponds. They love water, so you're definitely going to want to keep these guys nice and super moist at least for the first couple of weeks while they get established. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to get this video done before I run out of light, but you've got your Equisetum planted in here in this planter. I love this planter. I am going to make you a video all about this planter and why I love it, but it is the perfect 
container for growing this in. As I said, Equisetum is a water plant. It really likes to have a lot of moisture, so definitely feel free to keep pouring the water on. Um, but I was so excited when my team said, hey, we're going to be able to get people this plant because, you know, we've been, I've been selling the, the Alternatives to Dentist uh, video set for a long time. You probably have either seen this or you've uh, streamlined and watched it online. Um, hopefully, you know, you've been looking at your teeth with the mirror that we sent you and then you've been, you know, been feeling them with the sticks and you've felt how clean your teeth can feel once you've been using these sticks. By the way, I think these sticks should be a little bit larger, but uh, you know, we'll worry, they're good for what they are. Um, but this herb really is amazing. This is going to grow up a couple feet tall. You can, you know, cut it off back down to this height. It'll, it'll kind of turn into like a grass almost, a weird looking grass. And then you take those stalks, just dry them and then grind them up and you got that powder that Doug talks about. You know, you take that teaspoon or so, you know, every day. You know, follow, follow the directions that you saw in the video. But I will tell you, this stuff really does make your teeth really strong. It really does strengthen your teeth and your enamel. You'll start to notice it within just a, a few weeks. I have loved this plant so much and the primary source for it has always been dug and that's been a little bit of a bottleneck. So I was absolutely thrilled when the Grow Network team, this is a, such an awesome group of people, said, hey Marjorie, we think we can get these plant plugs and mail them out to people so that they can grow their own equisetum. And I was like, wow, that's awesome. But that's right when the nightmare started to happen. We contracted a nursery and said we need, you know, so many, actually we needed a thousand or two thousand plugs of this and they shipped it to us and it turned out to be the wrong variety. It, it was Equisetum fluvial instead of Equisetum hymale. So for those of you that had a delayed order, that's the reason why we've had to go back and find another nursery. It's been a huge mess for the Grow Network. I'm so appreciative of your patience in getting to receive your plugs. We've done our best to get the best quality, uh, really healthy plugs. I know they look a little rough. Definitely rehydrate them. This is a tough plant. They'll do great for you. I'm going to be following up and showing you how mine grows in future videos and uh, we're hoping to get a journals feature up so that you can actually start journaling and showing me how your equisetum is growing and I really look forward to seeing that. Okay, this is Marjorie Wildcraft. Get your plugs in the ground, get them growing as soon as possible and strengthen your teeth. I'll catch you on another video.